Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Here, uh, this is a SG3525 based uh, uh, inverter and DC DC controller module. So basically, this module I am using uh, for the making of a uh, DC DC converter. So for that, uh, here I am using a flyback type uh, transformer. So also I have made in my previous video. So the link of both uh, video will be given in the description. So here uh, I'm using a uh, flyback mode. So I'm using just a single MOSFET for the switching. So here I'm using a uh, IRBJ44 and channel MOSFET and uh, 1000 uh, microfarad 50 volt capacitor for the DC filter and the uh, short key diode of uh, 45 volt 20 amperes. So here uh, these are the pinouts and uh, I'm connecting the transformer so first we have to connect the mosfet to the module and uh, this is the gate or the driving pdm out pin pin so here uh, this is the source and uh, negative connected to the module and after this here uh, this is the gate and uh, pdm out pin pin of the module is connected to the mosfet so that uh, mosfet can be driving from this uh, module and uh, here uh, in this transformer this is the secondary and uh, this is the primary so in the primary side here this is the starting coil which will be connected to the drain pin of the mosfet and in the same way the secondary coil will be or positive also uh, i have said in my transformer making video so here you can see the starting point of the primary side uh, will be connected to the drain pin of the MOSFET and uh, other will be connected to the positive uh, VCC input. So uh, in the same way the starting point uh, of the secondary coil will be or uh, positive and uh, here this is the uh, diode and uh, the diode will be connected to the starting point so that we can take positive voltage from the here so the cathode point of the diode will be connected to the secondary side of the transformer and uh, this is the negative of this capacitor which will uh, have a longer line so here I am connecting the positive uh, terminal of the capacitor to the anode pin of the diode so that the positive can be stored in the diode through the so here uh, the negative will be connected of uh, the transformer to the capacitor and uh, after this here I am connecting the feedback wires to this module so that we can control the output voltage as well now the LOR is the positive signal and uh, the black one is the negative feedback wire. So this is our output from this converter and uh, here the circuit is completed and uh, the output from this and uh, here these are the input of this converter. Now this is a voltage and uh, ampere meter. So here I am connecting at the output of this converter so that we can uh, see the output voltage and uh, current as well. Now here uh, the negative and uh, here you can see on the multimeter the voltage of my power supply is 13.9 uh, volts. So I have set uh, at 12.56 uh, volts. So this is our input voltage for that uh, module and uh, here this is the negative and uh, the positive will be connected on the transformers uh, primary side coil wire. Now on the module we can see the red array is uh, indicating the power on and for the startup we have to press the reset switch on the PCB so that uh, the module can start and you can see the output voltage can be as stable from uh, 2.2 volts to here the minimum we can achieve here 2.2 volts and the maximum we can get is uh, 35 volts 
so for the testing and uh, the duty cycle uh, information here i'm using oscilloscope and uh, you can see on this here the frequency is uh, 20 kilohertz and uh, the duty cycle decreases as the load is disconnected so when the led is uh, connected to the output so the duty cycle increases to maintain the output voltage as well i when i increase or decrease the output voltage so the duty cycle increasing as uh, the voltage increases so for the regulation testing here uh, i'm using a 12 volt dc motor and uh, i'm connecting at this converter's output pin and uh, in this case the duty cycle almost zero but uh, when i connect the dc motor at the output so the duty cycle increases to maintain the output voltage so this is all done by this uh, sg3525 ic so when the output uh, load becomes uh, heavy or high so the voltage drops and uh, so according to this the sg35 ic increases the duty cycle to maintain the output voltage as well here you can see when i increase or decrease the voltage like here i am decreasing the voltage from 8 volt to at 4.2 volts so the duty cycle also increase or decrease to lower the voltage as we require and when you can see when i try to stop the motor soft so the voltage is still maintains at almost 4 volt but the current increases so for that the duty cycle also increases to maintain all over performance so this is the feedback loop based converters working and here you can see the voltage as i have increases at 18.9 or 7 volts so the duty cycle increases to maintain at such amount of voltage so this is the working of uh, dc dc converter with uh, feedback loop and uh, this is based on this sg uh, 3525 based uh, control module and uh, whenever i disconnect the load so the duty cycle becomes zero or one person so here you can see when i sort the output so the current uh, peaks at uh, 4.5 volt amperes and uh, duty cycle becomes maximum so this is the today's video of uh, this SG3525 based DC DC converter and uh, if you like this video so please like and also subscribe to my channel and also watch the uh, module video which is also given in the description so thanks for watching and also I'll see in the next video.